I'm with the Duke Engineering World Health Program, which for the past six years has been providing training programs for biomedical equipment technicians in the developing world, including Rwanda, Honduras, Ghana, Cambodia, Nigeria, and Ethiopia. I'm here to tell you about an extremely beneficial resource we have developed called the EWH BMET Library. But first, let me share with you the story of a Nigerian family. In a small Nigerian farming town, an 11-year-old girl is carried into the hospital by her frightened father. Hours earlier, she began vomiting and experiencing significant sharp pain in her lower right quadrant. The attending physician diagnoses the young girl with acute appendicitis. Immediate surgery is needed. There's only one problem. The hospital's sole autoclave hasn't worked in days and nearly all of their surgical equipment needs to be appropriately sterilized. The next hospital is hours away and no immediate means of transportation exists. 50 to 80 percent of medical and laboratory equipment is out of service. Medical devices in the developing world are breaking faster than they are being repaired. Several clinics and hospitals are left with medical device graveyards. For older equipment, there's often no preventative maintenance or repair information available. And when it is available, it's not always in a language spoken by the technician. As equipment differs with each manufacturer and as new instrumentation is developed, up-to-date information about using and troubleshooting each device needs to be accessible. Contributing to this problem is the fact that uniform managerial policies and procedures, such as healthcare technology man management, are absent in many clinic and hospital settings. When polled, the reasons given most frequently for the out-of-service medical instrumentation dilemma are lack of highly trained technicians, and lack of spare parts. EWH decided to explore this problem more thoroughly and found that they were able to repair 72% of these devices and return them back to service. The majority of these repairs were accomplished without the need to order spare parts. Instead, only locally available materials were used. To gain a complete understanding of the technical level required to accomplish these repairs, the engineers and engineering students documented the knowledge that was required to perform each repair. This is what they learned. Six categories of knowledge were needed to conduct 99% of these restorations. They are installation or user training, plumbing, electrical, mechanical, power supply, and motors. Additionally, it was learned that two-thirds of these repairs required far less knowledge than that needed to become a BME or BMET. A biomedical technician's assistant could return two-thirds of the equipment back into service with the appropriate support. That support for BTAs and BMETs comes in the form of the EWH library. This virtual library was created in response to the lack of available and useful technical information available to technicians in the developing world. It contains a large quantity of technical books and publications for preventative maintenance, troubleshooting, and repairing medical instrumentation. Covered in the library are common equipment problems and how to avoid them, how the equipment operates, routine maintenance that should be performed to enable long-term use, associated parts, and also how to effectively manage a healthcare system to avoid common management issues. 
EWH identified a core set of skills to enhance your existing knowledge and ultimately enable you to possess the strongest skill set possible. So let's go to the EWH library and see what it contains. The Topics tab is the best place to start because it lays out all the contents of the library in a simple format so that you can easily narrow down what you're looking for. This tab contains a library of books and documents on skills ranging from medical equipment to mathematics to management of a healthcare system. Once you select a general section, the library narrows and you can choose a new topic within that chosen realm. For example, sections such as electrical or mechanical skills lie within the large umbrella of BTA skills. Ultimately, you can narrow down your search as far as you need to. The search bar is the best place to begin in order to efficiently search the entire website for a body part, subject, or a particular device. The search bar works exactly like the Google search bar. Just type in a term and press enter to get started. Under the heading of troubleshooting and repair are two sections preventative maintenance, and troubleshooting and repair. Since preventative maintenance is the key to extending the uptime of medical instrumentation and avoiding unnecessary repairs, the EWH library provides detailed guides of the preventative maintenance needed for the most common medical devices. No one's going to be too happy if an infant incubator is requested and it's discovered that the device is dirty and that there are air leaks on the case because the PM wasn't routinely performed. If we go to the preventative maintenance section, we can locate the infant incubator checklist to see what PM needs to be performed and how frequently. We don't want to be responsible for an infant's deteriorating health because the device wasn't properly maintained. In the troubleshooting and repair section, you'll find the necessary steps you'll need to identify the equipment malfunction problem. Let's try to help our friends in Nigeria fix their autoclave. Since they're not certain what the exact problem is, they can use this easy to follow flowchart that contains a list of questions to guide them in locating the source of the problem. The troubleshooting flowchart is also found in table format. For the autoclave, the first question is, does the indicator lamp illuminate? Since the indicator lamp is not illuminating on the Nigerian autoclave, they're directed to troubleshoot the power supply. If we scroll down to the next page, there's easy instruction that informs them how to perform that task. So this section of the library enables you to hone in on the problem and then take the necessary steps to repair it. The troubleshooting and repair section also contains equipment packets, such as one for a defibrillator. These equipment packets provide a list of the instruments, operation, preventative maintenance, and troubleshooting and repair. It also contains applicable diagrams and schematics in a list of further resources if needed. In the Books by Chapter section, you'll find an assortment of textbook chapters. Each chapter is grouped under a larger heading, such as BTA Skills. If you click on this larger heading, you will uncover over a hundred relevant chapters containing a variety of technical material related to BTA and BMET skills. Every document on the EWH library has a short description of the document, the language it's published in, and the date of publication in order to further aid your search. There are also complete books that range from topics such as geometry to the care and safe use of hospital equipment. 
This library contains textbooks on applicable subject matters such as human psychology, electrical circuits, and anatomy in order to provide you with all the background necessary to be successful in the clinical environment. Let's say a technician needs additional information about a compound microscope. If they go to the medical equipment section, they'll find a list of documents in books specific to that device. You can search for any device based on the name of the equipment alphabetically. WH library content is continuously updated. Because internet access cannot always be relied upon in the developing world, this entire library can be easily distributed via thumb drive in the absence of internet. Instructions for offline use can be found on the website's home page. These instructions will demonstrate how to download a local copy of the collection to your PC. The local copy does not require internet connection, but will be opened in your default browser. Users can download updated versions monthly or whenever their internet connection resumes. As you can see, this virtual library's applications are limitless.